previously on the 415 podcast. This is episode 97. Uh, we have Miss Tisha Hammond. We are excited for her to come on the show and chop it up with us. Welcome to the 415 podcast. Thank you, Queens. I'm happy to be here with you. Yeah. Where is that? And so this is, you know, now six years later, I still remember as if I was sleeping peacefully. I saw an eagle soaring. Mm. I saw the colors blue and gold. Right now. I saw, mm. well, I have spent years rewriting several different books. Mm. And oh, this, there is this. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the 415 Podcast with your girls, Miss B and Keita. Hi. Guys. So today is May 3rd when we're recording Sunday. I'm just thinking about how long I've been in the house. March 13th to be exact. So we went through a full month and a few weeks. Yeah. It's real, guys. <sighs> it's real. Like I'm using this time to really sit here and reflect on what I've been doing to where I want to be, what I want to cut out, what I want to learn. But I'm telling you something, not being able to go outside, bruh. Bruh, that's all I gotta say. Hmm. Yeah, it's been um uh, been a tough one. Very, very tough. This this time is really gonna show what what you do with your time for some of those people. Well, for everybody. I'm not gonna say some of those people, but for everybody. You had damn near 45 days. 45 days in the house, almost 45 possibly days in the house. Did you make your time useful while you was in the house? Did you work on your attitude? Did you work on that business that you always wanted to work on or have? Did you self-reflect on life? Mm. That is the question. There is no way in po- there's no way possible that you should come out the house after this being the same person that you are before you went into this isolation period. Mm. No way. And if you are, I feel sorry for you. I feel sorry for those type of people because you basically will blame everybody for your own crap. See, I found it. It's been a month and 20 days. Thank you, Google, since March 13th. Yeah. One month and 20 days. For the people who love being home, do you still love it? Because when you was loving home, you were able to go places, but now you can't go anywhere. So does that still stand that you love being home? That you're a homebody? Hmm. That is the question. What is the answer? I don't hear you. Oh. I, I, somebody posted the other day. I, I like. There was like I like being in quarantine, but only when but not being told to be in quarantine. <laughs> like some people did have, you know, they they lived their life in the house. That was their thing. They were homebodies. But the fact of somebody telling you you have to stay in the house. That's the, That's what the difference is. You know what I hope during this quarantine that people actually learn how to spell quarantine. Because look, if I see one more misspell. <laughs> I mean, you got a Samsung or an I, a Apple Apple keyboard. It should already, you know, predict what you're trying to spell out. I mean, like, look, and if it, not, just take it to Google. Look, please fix that. Get your spelling life together. Something to I, make me smile just now. Huh? Just something to make me smile right now. Right. Because in the beginning, I was like, man, this is nothing. I can knock this out. Because that's when we thought that it was only going to be a month. Now, should we we passed a month now? Oh, look, I'm in a one bedroom. I don't know how I would have done this if I was in my studio about f- three years ago. I don't know how I'd have been able to do this, even though my studio was cool. But ain't no way you're gonna tell me I gotta be in the same area the the whole time. Mm-hmm. Nah, I mm-hmm. I don't see my I don't see my bedroom till it's time to go to bed, and I literally hang out in my office space in my slash living room. That's where I'm at. And obviously the kitchen in and out, but Mm -hmm. this is where I spend my day. And you know, like, you know, people spend a lot of time at their desk. So they're on Amazon a lot. Like I'm actually getting back on Amazon because I haven't bought anything on Amazon for like six, seven months, but that's going to change because I I need, I need office supplies now. I've been on Amazon every day since I've been in quarantine, but it's been for a purpose. It wasn't just for me, you know, buying (laughs) crap. (laughs) I, I did purchases. need it for produ- it was productive purchasing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the supplies, man, these supplies. But like, just it's it's I don't know. It's a different. It's different. You know, in my mind, I'm like, you know, other people are more privileged and able to do things. No, no, even the more privileged people still got to be at home. Celebrities still got to be at home. They just have a bigger house with a pool in the back. Yes. 
Yo, if wish I, I had, had that pool, pool in the back, I'd be fine. If I had a pool in the backyard, oh god. Let me tell you, you know, I'd be swimming every day. I know some of these celebrities got, like you said, a pool. They got a theater room. They got roller skate rinks. <laughs> they got game rooms. They got man caves. I don't know what the lady rooms is called, but I mean, I guess that's everything. She shit. <laughs> yeah, the she shit, like like uh, with the State Farm commercial. But see, there she goes slamming stuff. This is why I can't live in an apartment. Somebody come help me. Help me. Let me tell you something. Being in the house all day, you kind of know your dad or neighbor's like timeline. Okay, here they go. They 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 get going to the bathroom again. Here they go. Uh oh, they in the kitchen now, child. Uh oh. <laughs> Come on, stomp, 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 stomp. Okay, here you go in the hallway again. Ooh, the radio. I tried. Well, not the radio, but you know the um, what they call it? What's iHeart Radio? What's that like streaming radio? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh man, you can listen to that, but they only play the same stuff every day. They play the same songs, right? The same stuff, and I think that's what they was talking about with verses, with verses, you know, with, uh, um, Timbaland and, and Swiss, Swiss Beats. Beats. Mm -hmm. They making you kind of fall in love with music again, like seeing like you know the old heads in there because the old heads don't get their music spun, you know, on a daily. Mm -hmm. You know, like maybe the old school jams, but they still have the same songs that they're going to play. Right. And the only time you kind of get like that old school feel is 12 o'clock, lunch mm -hmm. mix. You know, anybody listening, really? Or quiet. Hey, or lunch. Before. Yeah, it's just like, dang. Like, they need to throw that into the regular during the day. You're like, oh, snap, I forgot about that jam. What? Mm -hmm. Shoot. Kind of like how Insecure did it. Issa Rae. She threw that Maya in there. I was like, yo, I forgot about Maya. Yo. I was like, that what? Jam. I was like, okay. Baby, I don't know. I was like, yeah. I already Issa. know. I just need them to get back together. I think they just work. Oh, Issa and Lawrence. Yeah, they just, they just work. I just, they have their funny, like, you know, they have their thing. Mm -hmm. Now, Condola, she cute and all, you know, she be having her hair together and she be having her outfit together. Her house is popping though. Mm -hmm. But, Everybody's just talking about her kitchen. That shot that they got with them two, like on he was against the countertop and she was by the, you know, other mm -hmm. counter. That was a good shot. But I mean, I guess I get it. She feels like she in the middle and she can't really. But at the same time, I feel Lawrence like, mm, am I like the spinoff? Am I like the what's what's the word? Rebound. That am I the rebound mm -hmm. dude? You know, it's always a drunk friend. See, that's why I can't deal with people. I, that's why I be wanting to get to know people. Let me see if you you drink. Let me see how you act. Right. I already know. All right. Yeah. You know me, I get quiet when I drink. <laughs> I get real quiet, like, hmm. When I drink, I just be laughing at something that ain't funny. Look, the bottle fell off the table. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's I just get silly. <laughs> get silly with it. Mm -hmm. But for a for a little, like, this is episode 98 for us, you know, titling this uh, Disconnecting During Quarantine. Like, it's been rough, you know. I think everybody's going through their own thing. And if you have friends who are married or friends who are married with kids or friends who are not married but have kids or, you know, friends who are just single, no mm -hmm. man, or friends with a boyfriend, they don't live together, but they, you know, like, how has your experience been during this quarantine? Especially for the ones that you kind of spoke to on a regular basis. What is that like now? That is the question. Mm. Do you have an answer? You can ponder and I can state mine, but if you're ready, go ahead and go get Do I people. have an answer? Yeah. <laughs> well, you ask me if I got an answer. I ain't got a boyfriend. Well, I'm talking about you, how you feel about your friends, because you have friends who are married, you have friends who are not, you have friends who have kids. Like, what has your communication been like? Is it disconnected because everybody's just going through like their own stuff and trying to get it together? Like, what is it like? Well, okay, well, then that I don't really talk to people like that all the time, when I do reach out, and you know what, that's one thing I'm going to stop doing, <laughs> reaching out, trying to figure out how people are feeling. Um, anyway, um, you know, I will reach out and say, hey, you know, how's it going? And, you know, some people, huh, yeah, I'm about to die. I feel like I'm in jail. <laughs> this ain't for me. Like, what? You know, and maybe, you know, y'all should, like, allow each other some time out the house. Because, you know, we are in Georgia, which we haven't really been in the house like that. But whatever. we still been able to go to the park. Because I did go to the park last week. Mm -hmm. And I was able to, like, you know, go for, like, you know, for a walk or whatnot. Which was good because I was able to sleep. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah. Even though I probably didn't go to sleep until, like, 12 o'clock. But that's earlier than 3 a.m. Um, um. 
So yeah, um, I noticed like a couple weeks after quarantine, so I I haven't spoken to you know certain people. Hmm. Um, I tried to reach out, no response. But you know what? I'm coming to chuck that up as I don't know what's going on in their life. I don't know, you know, what's happening. I hope okay. they're safe. You know, mm-hmm. I, I hope they're safe. I hope they're healthy. I hope their family's fine. But if, you know what I'm saying, maybe I'll find out after, you know, whatever. But if not, then a happy life. Whatever. Be blessed. Mm-hmm. Um, but now I'm starting to realize that that distancing from people it's probably needed right now mm-hmm. because as I, as I further go into it, I'm like, you know what? I'm starting to really pay attention to a lot of things that I needed to do for myself. Mm-hmm. So now I'm coming to understand like, okay, maybe this, it, maybe it is a, it's a reason for this people not talking as much or people not reaching out because it's like a distraction. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I get it. But whatever, to each his own. Whatever you need to do it for, then that's it. But I don't know. My social life with everybody's damn near been the same, almost. Because I really don't talk to that many people, so it's like like I'm missing out on anything. Yeah, I ain't for me. A lot of people been relying on social media, but that's always been my issue. You know, are you really friends off of social media? You know, like. People just posting whatever. That's kind of how you say, you know what? Okay, so and so is doing good. I saw them posting, but not so much because anybody can post a good pic. Mm-hmm. Anybody can post a, a, a cool video, but literally deep down, they probably battling some stuff. So I really, you know, been, you know, I'll reach out to some people through, you know, DM and say, hey, how's everything? And, you know, I'll get, I, I, I know them people. They giving me the real deal. Mm-hmm. But for like my mains, you know, I try to reach out, but everybody feeling the same way. Like, you don't understand, like, I'm really trying to keep my head in the game, trying to stay positive, but it is rough. It's hard. You try, you know, the first week, the first two weeks, I think we're easier than now because I think the first two weeks, everybody's just like, ah, whatever, ain't that serious. But then as mm-hmm. the numbers started, you know, spiking and all that and growing and people dying, like a lot more people dying each day, you started to think like, yo, we really in this. Like, this is what it is. And then you started seeing a lot more businesses shutting down. Mm-hmm. Now you're in the thick of it. But um, yeah, I reach out, you know, over text message. I'll call a couple of people and they feeling it, like I said, the same way. Just trying to keep busy, trying to figure out new skills and um, learn new things and watch shows that they haven't watched. And for the ones with kids, they just trying to figure out that balance between working and managing the kids. You know, mm-hmm. like I think a lot of companies just kind of just, realize, you know what, you can't make a kid be quiet. If they're going to jump in the video, they just going to jump in the video. That's just what it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because with my child, <laughs> not care. <laughs> like, Who not just, care? Like, like, I'm on a conference call, son. <laughs> was like, oh, What's she- a conference call? Right. And he'll, he'll, they poke their little head. Yeah. And then try to phase out. Right. Try to do some dance or something. But, Yeah. I just, yeah, I, I do see a lot of people like that I normally would talk to kind of not picking up as much, but I don't take it to heart now because I get it. I get it. Some people are not built to be indoors. Some people are not built, you know, for this. Some people ain't never worked from home before mm-hmm. and this is new to them. You know, like for me, I've been doing it for years. So I'm just like, I already got it. I understand it. But a lot of people don't get it. Some people, you know, that first time, that first week they were doing it, they was like, yo, it's kind of dope. But then they realize you work, you got to work extra harder. Hell yeah. <laughs> when you're from home, you're working harder. You're working longer hours for some. You're not getting as we many not, breaks. We, yeah, we're not doing that. You're not getting hit. You ain't getting extra breaks. You're not eating like you should be. You're not, you know, drinking enough because you're Listen. just stuck at your desk. What Bernie say, when you break, you break. <laughs> <laughs> when you seen Johnny. Hell, break. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> That's one thing. That's one thing she's not gonna do. You're not gonna. Mm-hmm. Hey. But like I told a few people, I said, let me tell you, in office rules apply at home during work from home. I take breaks at at the office. I'm taking breaks at home. Mm-hmm. You know, like. I, I don't have to clock out, but when I know that I'm done, I'm done. You know, mm-hmm. other people can stay in there at seven, eight p.m. Whatever. I might jump back in there a little later. You know, I have to like people don't sign that at the instant messages. Because let me tell you something. 
Mm -hmm. The new way of doing business is using these platforms like Slack and Teams and WebEx mm -hmm. instead of emails. There's really no more emails that really go out like that. Everything is handled through these different platforms and then you're like constantly having to be pulled into all these different platforms because I, I use all three of them. Mm -hmm. No lie, all three of them at work today. Mm -hmm. And you're being pulled in and tagged into so many things and everybody want to answer right now and you don't even have the time to do your actual work. Mm -hmm. but that's a stressor right there like it's already three o'clock and you're like i got nothing done because everybody keeps pulling me into some meeting or some chat that goes on for hours and you're just like you know what am i gonna stay till eight or am i gonna just wake up earlier and finish what i didn't get done yesterday no nope, i'm gonna just log off and then log back on when it's time to get back on work <laughs> so <that's, laughs> yeah and it's like everything is a priority there's a deadline for everything so that you know, I think the worst part of quarantine for me is work. I think that's the worst part for me because, um, you know, I have a big project that I'm working on and all eyes, all hands are on deck and it's not stopping. You know, we had a first wave. Now we got a second wave coming. And oh, I meant to tell stop. you, I've seen your project yeah. and I meant to, I meant to go ahead and check it out and tell you <laughs> about it, but I'll check it out tonight. <laughs> Um, I I give you some. We'll we'll do a Facetime on that one. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's a, it's a lot of eyes. It's it's a lot of late nights. It's a lot of stress, man. Like man. So that's yeah. The big part of my issue is work. Yeah, right. It's hard. I wish I can be in office because I have three screens and a mouse and a keyboard. At home, I have one little laptop screen, mm -hmm. and it's harder for me to do and be uh way more productive like try mm -hmm. opening an excel doc in a small little window oh, oh my gosh come down when you got like 400 columns that you got to fill in like i miss my mouse especially when you got reports and you ain't got those other screens it's like i gotta well especially when you're trying to mirror stuff you're like wait a minute i yep. need my other damn screen because i now, can't do all this on one screen yeah so it's like these are the things you think about like dang taking a lot of stuff for granted <laughs> now it's like look Companies are now having to spend more money to, you know, send all that stuff out to their employees so that they can be more productive. Mm -hmm. Like it's either you're gonna have me do it slower, you get me to monitor and in mouse, and I'm do it two times faster. Mm -hmm. You know, like come on, let's be more effective. Let's get it done. You know, at the end of the day, what's a hundred dollars for a monitor? They ain't, ain't even putting a dent in your wallet. Like just do it. So I'm ordering mine tomorrow. That's just that's what I'm doing. I'm done. Right. But yeah. Um, but back to the like the question about disconnecting and all that. Um, I have been the type to to want to reach out to everybody in the world, and I kind of had to guys. pull back. I had yeah. to pull back. I'm sorry, y'all are work. They hear it. <laughs> yeah, I had to pull back from reaching out to everybody, and I would do that all so often. It it gets a little too much because you're not getting that same energy back. You reach out to a hundred people, and two people reach back. That ain't cool. So yeah, disconnecting is real. Yeah, it's a uh, the past. Uh, so you know, and this 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 whole isolation period been nothing but bullshit for me. <laughs> I'ma just you know, I ain't gonna put it all out there, but I'ma just say it's been straight bullshit since I got home from ever since my job sent me home. Not <laughs> nothing with the job, but the day after. You know, well, two days after having to go to the hospital, you know, almost thinking you got to get tested for COVID because they think they found questionable hmm. pneumonia in your lungs. And I had to be quarantined. My test didn't come. My test was supposed to come back five days after being tested. My test didn't come back for 13 days. So I had to be quarantined by myself in the house 13 days. Um, and then on top of that, not being able to sleep. Hmm. So my sleep pattern been jacked up. I don't go to sleep to three, four o'clock in the morning to get right back up at eight thirty, eight forty nine, or eight eight thirty, eight forty five to make sure I take a shower because still, hmm. don't take a shower before I start work. Take a shower to, to jump online at nine o'clock. Sleepy as crap. I ain't going to sleep because if I go to sleep, then you know they see that I'm on that my team's light is on yellow. Hey, why you on yellow? What you what you doing? Got to, so I got to make sure I'm good. I still got to be productive. Mm -hmm. Then hit another burst of energy by the time I get off at like seven o'clock and I can't go back to sleep. So the, the pattern is happening again. So hmm. we thinking, oh, well, maybe I should have a drink. Come to the point, I'm drinking damn near every night. 
<laughs> just to try to get sleep. And guess what? I can't get drunk because guess what? I won't go. <laughs> I can't get no sleep. On top of that, other shit popping off. Goddamn eczema starting to act up because of you thinking, oh, I'm not stressed out. <laughs> oh, but now my eczema is like, yeah, you are stressed out. Look at him, look at me now. I'm like, ah, oh, mm. why? What is going on? Like to the point. Saturday morning, I woke up feeling the, you know, feeling a little, you know, carnal was calling. You know, your flesh, my flesh was weak on Saturday. <laughs> I'm going. I'm going to be very honest. My flesh was weak on Saturday, and I, 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 I damn near almost text somebody and say, hey, what you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what you doing? But you know what? I said I could either go somewhere I ain't supposed to be at or I can go somewhere I ain't supposed to be at, but I have a piece of goddamn mind. I went to the goddamn nail shop. I sure damn did. I only got my nails done. I only got my feet done because guess what? I needed a peace of mind in that moment. I had my mask on. I, you know, they make you wash your hands before they serve, before you get served. They got their whole little plastic or uh, whatever screen thing they got up. Got my toes done because, you know, they can't be in your face when you get your toes done because whatever. They got their gloves on, whatever. I chose to go to the nail shop and have a peace of mind because of all the shit that I've been going through, thinking about, bothered by, whatever, then going to somebody's house and they disrupt my damn peace. In Georgia. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what I did. So a lot of people may be like, no, you shouldn't have did that. But guess what? Ain't nobody checking for me like that. Ain't nobody calling my phone like that besides the ones that call my phone and hit me up. But ain't, for those that may, may say, why you doing that? You shouldn't, but you ain't checking for me. Don't criticize me for what I do if your ass ain't checking for me, especially if I always check for your butt. So if you ain't worried about, if you ain't worried about me now or then, don't worry about me now, point blank period. Because when I, I possibly could have had COVID, won't nobody checking for me. And they knew. So don't, get, so don't get mad and try to talk crap if I said, yes, I decided to go to the nail shop. Because I needed a piece of mind. Point blank, period. Disconnections, y'all. So now that we got the disconnections out the way, let's talk about the other side. And when I say the other side, we're talking about post-COVID, post-quarantine, post-lockdown, post-isolation, all of them terms. Who are you going to be on the other side of this? Not who am I now. No, who are you going to be after this? Are you going to go back into the world the same way you came into this lockdown? I'm talking about lazy. I'm talking about blaming everybody for your issues. I'm talking about not holding yourself accountable. I'm talking about not being responsible. I'm talking about, you know, you hate your job, but you're gonna stay there, so you're not even searching for nothing. Like, who are you gonna be post this? Like, I need you to think about that. Time to grow up. You know who I'm gonna be post this? I'm gonna be the person that ain't nobody gonna realize, like, damn, she really don't give a damn no more. That's who I'm gonna be. Cause I care too damn much. So I'm mm -hmm. I'm a not care. That that's what I'm be after this. I'm a not care no more. And then maybe I can live my life the way I want to live. Mm -hmm. That's how I'm, that's why I'm be. Cause I didn't did everything I was supposed to do. I didn't follow the rules. I didn't follow the book. I didn't did anything mm -hmm. to put me in the position that I'm in right now. So outside of this, post this whole thing, I'm a not care no more. I'm done saving the world. I'm done trying to save everybody. That's what I'm gonna be. Who you gonna be, Keith? Who are you gonna be after this? Um, I'm definitely gonna be myself, but more uh, but fine tuned. Fine tuned. No, 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 not turning down. Not turning. I said fine tuned. So that means I'm gonna be a little bit more put together. Um, it's this definitely this has definitely forced me. It lit a fire under my butt. Mm -hmm. Not only this has lit a fire under my butt, but a certain particular person, and I didn't realize it until Friday, and I had to laugh. Mm -hmm. Lit a fire under my butt for me to do what I needed to do, and and um, you know, how sometimes you get, you just get tired of always saying, "I need to do something better in my life," or "I need to do." If there's something I want to do, I just need to go ahead and do and stop talking about it. I need to actually do. It. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I've been in here creating, I've been in here thinking, I've been in here brainstorming, I've been in here putting my hands to work. I'm about to do some other things today when we when we, when we get off the um uh, off the recording because I'm like I have to I have to push, I have to throw myself into my purpose. Do you know your purpose? 
Yeah. Do you people know your purpose? Those that I want that the those that I know who's going to put who's going to put good energy towards it. Mm-hmm. Ask yourself that, people. Do you even know what your purpose is? So, you know, like I said, I want to be a little bit more fine-tuned. Like, I've been trying to get all my things in order, mm-hmm. um, you know, and like I said, creating, creating, like I created another stream of income for myself. And like, like, like I was making a joke earlier, like, oh, I've been on Amazon almost every day since quarantine. And that's because I've been getting things mm-hmm. for my creation, not because now a few things, you know, I bought a couple of jumpsuits and stuff. <laughs> I mean, I bought, a, I bought a couple of, you know, things like be around the house and like them little one piece um, body suits or whatever. Mm-hmm. Those things, I'm like, I can, I can use that from for around the house. You know, just throw that on. I ain't got to, whatever. <laughs> so, you know, I bought that, bought, you know, cam some books. Um, but everything else has been purchases towards my purpose. And being that I am in a, I'm in the house, and yes, you know, even though I'm working, I'm doing it too because I'm at home. I could do two things at one time. So I'm doing the same, doing everything because it, it, that, that keeps me busy. That keeps my mind off things. Um, so with that, and then trying to get my finances in order, because guess what? I want to make a purchase or if I decide I want a freaking go on a trip somewhere, I want to be able to go on a trip. If it's possible. If it's possible. Right. We're going to be in this for two years. That's what I, right. that's what I saw. Um, you know, I, I went ahead and started purchasing, purchasing stock. I got into that. Um, so it's been a lot of things that I, I I haven't been doing, and I think just because I don't know why I wasn't doing it at first. I really don't know why. You was in your own way. It happens. Yeah, yeah, I was in my own way. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Like this whole time right here is allowing people to really see themselves. Right. Because right. you you bare face now. Ain't nobody putting on a dag on makeup. Right. Well, maybe. The and I got my, I now. got that I got that wax I need to get for my lip, cause baby. <laughs> Mm-hmm. That thing is ah, but you know I just been paying attention to a lot. I've been paying attention to myself. That's another thing. And then you're like, oh, I don't like, I don't like that. I don't like the way I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think too negative. Like I sat in bed in bed this morning. Well, last night I was thinking about some things, and I was like, you know what? When I woke up this morning, I, you know, I said to myself, you know, I will have this or I will do this or I will accomplish this or I will blah say blah say blah instead Mm -hmm. of saying dang I hope oh I wish Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying like I had to start you know changing my changing my mindset on things so that's another thing too so like it's just I'm just noticing myself and what what I need to change again if you come out of this the same way trust and believe you're gonna lose people because they're gonna be like really you still on this BS right now? You still on that? You still can't communicate? You still with the shits right now? That's uh, okay. So you learned nothing. So you still gonna like, be petty as hell? Huh? We, we was in this for how long? And you okay? You know you what? I got. I ain't got time. I ain't got. Look, I had time before, but I ain't got time right now. You ain't figured yourself out yet. Oh, this whole. This, so you mean to tell me this whole time you've been in the house fighting? by yourself? You still you fighting still- with the same people? Okay. <laughs> you still arguing about that? You still mad at that, bro? That happened in what? What, what year? 2019? No, 1976. You still oh, 1976. Mad at that. <laughs> like, you still mad at that. Right, right, right. You still didn't grow up. Okay. So you mad, so you mad because I, I spilled the juice <laughs> in 1976. On the white couch. <laughs> On the white couch. You still holding that? Okay, you know what? Look. You don't have four couches since then. <laughs> Seriously. Like, I just need y'all for real, for real to use this time wisely because yeah, we got all the time. Like y'all be saying, I got time. Okay, if you got time, don't be just sitting here up on social media doing TikToks all day. Like, come on. Ooh. That could be a nice outlet and all, but don't be up there for eight, nine hours. Because I'm a easy. savage. Yeah, okay. Classy, bougie, ratchet. They got all the money. They got it. Woo. You doing the dance ain't getting you paid. Exactly. Okay. Hey, baby. I, I look, I got limits. I'll be in there for a little while. Okay, I'm going. Bye. Logs out. Baby. Next thing. Because, listen, mm-mm. I was sad to see April go. April was quick. Came in and left. Bruh. Well, I don't know why April be doing it to us. <laughs> oh, like, dang, yo. April, come, April be coming in with the with the vengeance, boy. That thing be coming in like a tornado. Like, whoop, whoop. 
Ooh, I'm gonna need if she, come on, May. Can can May bring me flowers? Hmm. Shoot, I don't know. It's I'm gonna add. And you know, summer know. next summer next month. Mm. Ain't no summer. Summer canceled too. I don't know. I just, I just hope people like really reflect on themselves and really, (sighs) I know some people not because that's just how there's a balance in the world, you know, Mm -hmm. and and that's expected. But just know the people who ain't fixing themselves, don't talk, don't call me. I can't, I'm done. No. People shouldn't be, you know, still shouldn't be doing some of the same petty crap, you know, be like, it's time to grow up people. Oh. It's time to grow up. Be grown about your stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. For the men. <laughs> I wish y'all could see the face because we put this on recorded. <laughs> she said on recorded. On oh, video. Me on video. <laughs> For the men, though. Because y'all had nothing but time. And yeah. I know what y'all was doing. Y'all was all on, on Tinder. You was doing all that stupid stuff. But like, yo, post-launch, po- post-launch, po- post-quarantine, post-freaking uh, lockdown, up. like come through with some realness. Like if you don't want to be in a relationship, say that up hey, front. Stop wasting people's time. Like we got time now, but we ain't going to have time later. Okay? Because let me tell you something. People about to be out here getting it when we back in, in, in the world again, outside. No. Let me tell you something. Don't, don't come over to- here. With the bullshit. Let me tell you something. Somebody hit me up the other day talking about, oh, I wanted to be your quarantine boo or quarantine fix. I said, let me tell you something. I would rather watch Pornhub <laughs> and play with. <laughs> do what you gotta do. Hey, I would rather watch Pornhub and 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 than to be messing with anybody right now. I'm dead serious because I know what. Listen. I know what I want. I'm not about to settle. Hmm. This quarantine, <laughs> I'm not settling no more. My se- at- March was the cutoff. <clears throat> March was the cutoff. I'm not settling for for not- for any low vibrations anymore. I know what I want. I want my forever partner or ma- or husband. Cause I'm not, I'm not stressing nobody to get married. I'm just telling you that now. But if that's something you decide you want to do, then okay. I want my forever partner slash husband. I want a partnership. Okay. If I'm going after my purpose, you going after yours. We need to be helping each other. Not, mm-hmm. not one, not one person doing what they want to do, and the other person is losing themselves. No, we need to be working on this thing together. Mm-hmm. I don't we got, that. we got, we got kids. We gonna have a nice little family. You understand me? But I am not settling for nothing. Look, I'm gonna say this for the for the females who be taking on projects. For the project men, no more either. For the project men, why you don't have your stuff together after this? That I'm, we we all gonna be looking at you stupid. Like why why you had all this time and you still a project? Don't come over here acting like you got it together and you don't. Stop it. Mm-mm. Like get your stuff together, cause yo, we and we we not building people up no more. We are not doing that. We was being nice. Anything. We're being nice. Here, I'm not here to help you heal. You better come healed on your own. Cause I had to heal myself on my own. Nope. I'm not. T- I'm not here to heal you. Nope. I'm not here to make you feel better. Not to here to make you boost your ego as a man. Make you feel. Pr- nope. nope. I ain't not. I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not putting more of myself into another person, and then it's leaving me depleted. Or no, no, no. Not leaving me depleted. It's not leaving me depleted because I'm gonna cut that shit off. <clears throat> okay. Look, I'm gonna be able to smell BS when it come, and it's gonna oh, be I, shut down. I know when it come. I just like I, I I like giving benefit of the doubt, but I'm not doing that no more. Mm-mm. That's that's yeah. my problem. I like to give benefit of the doubt, benefit of doubt. I'm not doing it no more. Nah, I'm look. I'm not even looking no more. See, I was looking. I'm not looking. Post quarantine, you better have yourself together, and then you gonna step to me. I'm not looking. I'm not getting on. Look, I'm not doing dating sites after this. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. We gonna be outside. I'm not doing it. Why do you dating site? I ain't doing that. Mm-hmm. It's a bunch of BS. That's what it is. Because you can sit here and talk to fifteen thousand other people at the same time. Mm-hmm. No, I'm not doing it. I'm not dealing with. I'm not, let me tell you something else. I ain't dealing with. I'm not dealing. With, <laughs> I'm not dealing with a man who's afraid of their damn emotions. If you feeling me, you better tell me you feeling me. Because if not. We're going to have a goddamn problem. 
Stop being afraid to show your emotions, okay? Every female that you came across is not the one that's in front of your face, okay? Mm-hmm. That's your problem. Y'all be trying to be with folk who look who, who look good on the outside, but ain't doing nothing for you on the inside, okay? If that person makes you feel like a man and makes you feel like, damn, this is my person, you better be up front with yourself. Mm-hmm. And stop fronting. You're gonna miss out on your this is this is how I look at it. And that's and that I, I I said this today. When you have somebody that genuinely cares for you, loves you, accepts you for who you are, that's like rejected. That's like I always looked at it like you that's like rejecting God. God does not give that to everybody. That type of love and caring and all, you know, that just that good feeling. You know how, how many how many of y'all been rejecting God? Y'all crazy. Look, that's the man for the ladies. Stop chasing him. He don't want you. He he don't want you. Okay, he don't. Stop making yourself small. Stop doing that. Right. Stop. He don't want you, sis. Sorry, no. But I know he gonna come around. He not coming. No, he ain't coming tomorrow. I'm gonna need you to. I hope you during this time you getting your life together. Stop chasing stuff that ain't chasing you. Mm-hmm. Be chasing men anyway. Come on, mm-hmm. oh, fix that. Don't settle for nothing. Like if the person ain't at your level, come on, man. They gotta be almost. They gotta be at your level or better. Anything below you is a project. Mm-hmm. No, that's and a that, project. And that's not even saying. And that's not even saying what they, what their, what their finances or what their status is. Because I done been around people that make more money than me, and they, they afraid of me because guess what? I don't need them for shit. <laughs> Because I can take care of myself, it come it can come off as intimidating. Like, what am so? What am I supposed to do with you? I'm I'm sorry, but I'm uh, I, I don't know. Figure it out. Be Another be thing. a man, ladies. Stop cooking for these people. Stop stop treating them like they're your husband. You ain't even got no. Re- you ain't even in a relationship. You over here cooking dinner every night. Stop it. Mm-hmm. Man, leave that stuff in quarantine. Look, like you said, leave that in 2019. No, leave that in quarantine. Mm-hmm. I ain't making nobody no more plates no more. And then if I do make you a plate, you getting the paper plate. You ain't getting that glass plate. <laughs> That's love. That's that mean I care for you. If I give you a glass plate, that mean I care for you. You ain't no, getting none of that no more. You might get a plastic, plastic fork, paper plate, and the red. Wait, cup. Wait, which paper are we talking about? The one when you hold it and it just go like that and all the food fall. You gonna be nice. Which one are you talking about? No, no. Um, you gonna get a, you gonna get a, you gonna get a. Uh, he gonna get a shovel know, plate. No, you gonna get a hefty. You gonna get a hefty plate because I don't want to clean. I don't want no, you spilling nothing in my house. But you ain't you. Not, you not getting no glass plate. Hell, matter of fact, I'm gonna just tell you, hey, your food is in there done. Shit, you can go get you, even if you want to. That means I don't give a shit. Like no, you not getting none of that. None mm. of it. I ain't asking you today. You good? What's on your mind today? I don't care what's on your mind. No more. Mm. And then for the other people who want to talk about everybody else in their relationship, stay, just stay out their business. Stop it. Just, just let it be. They want to be with that one. That's fine. You ain't, you ain't with them. So you ain't got a battle. Because six months later, they're gonna be doing the same damn shit. Why? Exactly. They were talking about. And look, stay out other people for business. Okay. Mm-hmm. Sierra done cut her son kid hair off. You heard her son. Yeah, kid. that shot. That she shocked me. I'm not she gonna cut. lie. Everybody's talking about what she do that I for. Said, I said, oh, baby, future, why you good at that, Lord? <laughs> that, that's her kid. Thanks, right. kid. Get get out of her business. Mm-hmm. He could have been the one said, Mommy, I don't like this. I'm tired right? of you yanking my hair. Yep, he probably I'm wanted tired his haircut. Mm-hmm. He's tired of getting his hair washed. She don't want to do it no more. Right. You know, so kids, look, kids smart yeah. these days. Right. They're going to tell you what they don't like now. And look, there's parents who are going to listen to their kid. Mm-hmm. Oh, you don't want no hair? Okay, cool. That's one less thing I got to do. I ain't got a braid right. now. What you said? Sure. You better right. get that washcloth and wash your hair. Or your head, rather. But look, stay out of their business. Same what you ain't going to do. You ain't even been in the situation before. Fix that in quarantine. I think that's all I got. I told you what I'm going to fix. I'm fixing to not freaking care about nothing no more. That's what I'm fixing. I'm fixing to not save everybody. That's what I'm doing. The bank has been closed a long while ago, but yeah. We got to now reinforce that the bank is closed. I'm not saving people no more. You got it? Good. Don't save her. She don't want to be safe. Don't say I want to be safe. <laughs> That's it. That's all I got. Cha, 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 honey. Mm. Episode 98, y'all. 
Again, don't call me asking. <laughs> I'm not playing with y'all. Like, I just, I. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I think I'm ready for a number change again. Like, mm -hmm. bruh, this is my quarantine number. <laughs> so you really can, like, disconnect. Dang, she ain't pay her phone bill? Mm-mm. Nope. She ain't got no phone no more. I wonder if you could put your phone on pause. I probably could call. Could you turn my phone off for a little bit? <laughs> Ciao. That's it. But that's it, y'all. Disconnecting during quarantine. And who you gonna be post-quarantine? Think about that. Don't come back the same way you left. Just don't do that. Hey, come back. <laughs> Use your time wisely. Don't be up on social media because there's a lot of stuff that's going to eat you up there as well. Mm -hmm. You're going to see people looking like they got it together and they don't. Mm -hmm. And you're going to fall in a trap again. Don't idolize these folks. Don't mm -hmm. do it. Mm -mm. They just got a little bit more than you do when you're looking at celebrities. Don't, don't. That's it. A little bit more. Just a little bit. That's it. This is it. You got any more? No. Okay. Y'all know where to find us. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll holla at you. But make sure you listen to this. And be sure to tune in because uh, next week we're going to talk about versus, you know, with uh, Erica Badu and Jill Scott, which I feel is a weird matchup anyway. No, nope, that's like not a weird I felt, I felt, I felt like I felt like it should have been Erica Badu and Lauren Hill, even though Lauren Hill was going to be late. Mm, Lauren Hill only got one album, but okay. I'm just saying. Jill, Jill Scott, Scott and Let Us See, I felt like would have been a cool mm -mm. match. Mm -mm. Nope. Jill Scott and Erica Badu is perfect. This oh, is about no. to be like incense and sage and crystals <laughs> and everything about to be popping off. I'm not yes now. <sighs> yeah. But that's it. It's 405. We out. We out.